Good afternoon traders, this is Tony D from the Easy Markets Dealing Room in Sydney. Update for today, we do have a fair bit of negativity coming through. Uh, the really rally from uh, Navarro's comments yesterday uh, proved very short-lived and uh, overnight we did get uh, a more selling coming through on the stock markets and today you're seeing accelerated selling uh, in the Aussie dollar and the Kiwi dollar on the back of a news story here with the Chinese Yuan being devalued sharply on a day-to-day -day basis, that's the weekly chart there, but on a day-to-day -day basis, large moves um, high here on the dollar yuan, which is, is weakening of the yuan itself. Uh, so this is, uh, has the intent of sort of softening the blow, weakening your currency, helps you uh, expand your exports and um, you know, potentially China is taking that road down here because these are very controlled currencies in this regards. Uh, concerns about the slowdown in the Chinese economy as well, leading to outflows. So it is very uh, possible here that the yuan is getting under a lot of pressure from uh, investors as well. Uh, but look, it is uh, taking note, it's getting to the size and speed that, that is similar uh, to some of the heavy selling that happened a, a couple of years ago with the Chinese devaluation. So you've, uh, you've got to keep an eye on this because this is really a, a tipping point potentially for the market and looking for a new story as uh, the trade wars start, but Chinese economic slowdown is getting pretty real. And so the Aussie dollar is really struggling to come up for air here uh, and pressing lower at the moment. Optimism through short live in terms of rallies uh, as, uh, as well. So the ability to rally on good news is, um, well, the inability to rally on good news is a pretty clear sign that the market's under pressure. Uh, you are getting dollar index uh, starting to get bid again after that selling that came through uh, last week. And so finding support at appropriate levels as well. So we could be retesting that at 95 level in coming days uh, with the, the sort of uh, bullish price action you saw yesterday. Uh, this is flowing through onto the euro being under pressure and on the pound being under pressure. Now pound had a, a very its own little story going on uh, yesterday with the, the new pound, uh, the new member uh, being questioned. New Bank of England member being questioned by Parliament suggesting they can cut rates still if the economic uh, slowdown was to get serious um, post Brexit. Now, you know, that's the sort of thing, the dovish thing to say, they get the market selling, uh, you know, when, they, when the other Bank of England members are focused on raising rates in August, to have a new Bank of England member uh, talking about uh, cutting rates was, although it was talking about a situation where the economy uh, slowed down, it is still enough to to get the bears in an already fragile market um, uh, selling. And so you did see that. Uh, so far we've uh, held above 132 though. Um, but with that US dollar being resurgent, it is a little bit more dangerous now to be focusing on the top side without any sort of clarity from Brexit coming in the next week or two. Uh, it really required a lot of that US dollar weakness to drive that. So it is uh, US dollar weakness or risk on, you don't have either. <laughs> and so that is uh, a situation right now where the market is uh, really in, in the US dollar control. And that's, uh, if you're looking for ways to play it, um, then some of the bigger pairs there uh, might be uh, a bit cleaner. Uh, so Kiwi dollar, if you if we don't look at Kiwi dollar too much here, but Aussie Kiwi uh, going higher suggests that Kiwi dollar is even weaker than the uh, Australian dollar. Now the New Zealand RBNZ is tomorrow. Uh, but you're seeing here that this is fresh lows right now for the uh, for the Kiwi. And so uh, unless the RBNZ comes out with something to support, which is very unlikely because they're extremely neutral and if anything will uh, you know, be a little bit downbeat given uh, the, the trade tensions that are, are starting to get more serious. Um, and they do actually, you know, comment regularly that they believe the Kiwi dollar is overvalued. And so the ability for it to fall is, is very much real here uh, now that we've broken those levels. Um, and the sort of support that's coming in uh, at this level underneath it, you'd have to go back a lot further in time. You know, so we're getting reminiscent of some of the other pairs here if we were to break down uh, below the previous low from last year and 2016, we have to go back to early uh, well, 2015 till we get to that 65-ish level. Uh, so that's a downside target here if we do break down low. At the moment, it's giving a good crack on uh, testing these levels. So, uh, and so far, you know, the, the yearly ones for so far this year have been broken. So it is in that uh, serious moment now where it's going to make or break in the next 24 hours with that RBNZ coming up.
Oh, but that, like I said, the US dollar is getting stronger again, and the Chinese fears, uh, Chinese US trade war fears are getting more uh, strict. Uh, one of the big movers overnight was oil, and oil did jump up above 70 again. Now, this is coming on the back of US trying to get uh, companies to stop buying Iranian oil. All right, so uh, a form of uh, control there on Iran, uh, trying to get the sanctions to, to bite again the regime over there after they pulled out the nuclear agreement. And so uh, that's uh, driven uh, oil up on, on uh, supply fears uh, because there is uh, some limitation to how much uh, the other producers can uh, step in and fill those uh, shoes and uh, the speed at which you can get shale back online in the US itself uh, is a little bit limited but we're talking about supply issues around the world not just in the US and so getting oil to uh, those countries that we're using Iranian oil is going to be a little bit harder uh, in this current environment uh, so something to keep an eye on here um, now that has a dampening effect on on uh, if you were to look up, think about selling the Canadian dollar uh, because dollar cat's going higher, uh, then you, you know, if you're looking at a trade which makes a lot of sense, uh, something along the lines of uh, selling the Aussie CAD uh, makes a lot of sense in this environment just because of the oil strength and also from the levels at which the market is uh, topping out here. We do have a clear little level to put your stop loss on, and so that makes it a little easier uh, to get involved in the downside action as well. So just that uh, the Canadian dollar will outperform. On the strong Aussie dollar, uh, or same with the New Zealand dollar CAD trade. All right, guys, we'll be back tomorrow with an update on the developments further. Uh, but things are heating up here. That dollar yuan is getting a lot of airplay uh, back above that 6.6, .6 and uh, fears now that uh, China's gearing up for a trade war by doing uh, this devaluation.